WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We the Dow Industrials finished down seven. Seven, that's it. So we are at all-time highs inside the Dow. So let's go bring up the Dow, because what happened yesterday is that the Dow actually got over its all-time high. Let me see what the, where we're at here. So 631, look at this. So the all-time high that was going after yesterday that went over and closed under, um, and this is, I'm going back to August 16th, is 35,631. The are 30 points away from it, folks. Bottom line, we're going to go after that again tomorrow. Um, that being said, the SPY, I expect, uh, well, let me see, it might have hit the, the high uh, coming into the close. Uh, four, we're looking at, uh, no, 454.05. We, we're closing out at 453.69. Yeah, huge contraction of volume. Again, bottom line, that being said, guess what? Friday, you're going to go after that high. And the X100, they jammed that coming into the close, meaning they pushed it higher. Uh, you had the spot, the uh, Qs right now, they closed up $2.29, and you're at $3.77.27. Um, this is also game for higher price. You know, the contraction is insane, okay? But the bottom line is that that's what ends up happening with counter-trend bounces that want to go lower. Uh, contraction out here today, 22 million shares. Yesterday we had 31. You know, bottom line, force in price. And we'll see if the Qs can hit highs. I, my take is that it won't happen, but guess what? That doesn't mean a thing uh, because this market uh, basically is going up there. There's a huge amount of resistance that is laying out, and that baby's laying out only 60 cents higher than where we are right now inside of the Qs, right? The, the resistance uh, is 377.87. Uh, and what that is, that was first we hit the high that was established out here at the. Uh, September 7th, then you went sideways for like three days, then you dropped down to a lower range, and then went sideways for five days, and you had monster volume on that sideways move. Then you gapped lower. We gapped, the last day before we made the gap, you did 60 million shares on the way down, then you gapped with 76 million. It's the 60 million that we're going into right now. You know, so what tends to happen is this. The same seller that was out there selling at these highs, they will reload and sell the heck out of that thing. The real question is, are there going to be buyers on the other side of that that basically buy? Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off. 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Sharpening your